She's been working on the Forest Queen mine for six years now. I've made 237 feet. Oh, it's a thousand foot run, and I've got close to 800 left. I've been averaging about 50 feet a year, and I'm going to try for a little more this year. I want to get the mine started. I don't want the money. I think it's quite a job, and I think I can do the job. And I've progressed real good on it. I got down to the last major task. It's the only one that's major now is digging that drainage tunnel. Yeah, I can do it. Get that through there while we'll get in to where the silver is and bring it up and put it through the mill. It'll all work. So in 1940, this was the entrance to our mine. We come up this road here, swing a bridge over this stream, and to go on up. The worst tunnel digging is gravel. I'm still in gravel, and it's still awful hard digging. But now for seven feet, I've had six inches of rock in the bottom of my tunnel that I've had to blast to break it out. So that is the beginning of hard rock. And I'll have to enter that hard rock uh, about 50 feet before I can use full strength blast and make good progress that, that you should make in rock. Uh, right now, it takes me three days to go one foot. And give me a year to make this transition and get into that solid rock. And there will be some days that I will make six feet. Surely I can get in a hundred days of work a year, but I won't average uh, six feet on each of those days. I don't think I can go to 600 feet in a year. I ought to go half of the normal rate. Say, give me three years. I'll get through there. I call my warehouse. Right here I got rails. These are the rails I used to go underground. Some of the pipes here too. And then an area where automotive junk is put. An extra cable for the hoist. Don't look like much, but it's good cable. This is one of the old compressors built in the last century. It's a good unit. It's got good range. The cylinders are good. It works good. It just happens to be old. Now to uh, run that compressor, why well, I brought in this about a 55 Pontiac. I put a little lead in the uh, differential. So all I have to do is put a belt on the rear wheel there. And this does real good running the compressor. As long as I can handle just one end of it, why, hey, I, I get along all right. You hey, pick up one end and run it against the car and pick up the other end and put it on the car and push it in the front. I don't see myself as a dying breed at all. I don't want to sit around. You might as well go to prison to sit around. That one's loose. For the shade. I could take them out any time, but I don't like the bare ground. And the age is right at 200 years, almost as old as this country. I take the, the smaller dead trees, and those I use for timbers. That's where I lost this finger, just, just cutting kindling wood. You just got to watch and be careful, and you know it. It's a joy just to see the sunrise. It's a joy just to look out the window and see the mountains. It's one of the few valleys that uh, everyone likes. While John is off working in his mine, he keeps his cabin door open for passing visitors. That has its background from my earlier visits here and being told of the uh, quite widespread custom that everyone would leave their cabins unlocked. And if someone traveling on a, usually on a horse would come by and need refreshments, why they'd always were quite welcome to stop and help themselves, and they would always clean up afterwards. Well, I kind of like to continue that, but there was also another reason. All the time I was in the Army, 
I appreciate it very much if I had something other than just a hotel to stop them. There were a fair number of people who would be nice to the servicemen, quite a few. And in a way, this is the best way I can return that. While it's not to the same people, it is to others. They worked quite a few years and come in on the end of May or the first of June. And, then, and that was, I think, is the normal time to come down in the first of June. Heavy snow these last two winters has made it late in arrival. You bet it's heavy. Well, I got to give up the eight hour days. Last year, I dropped them back to six hours. Three hours in the morning and three in the afternoon. And I try to keep a six hour day. But this year, when I drop down to five hours someday, I don't care. That's how age affects me. I just, I just don't fight it. I just go as fast as I can. It's all been said, and I think it's time to close up. <laughs> It'd just be a repetition, and repetitions are tiresome. There's only one light left in the valley, and that's right down here at this neighbor. All the other neighbors are, are dark for the night. <laughs>